welcome back everybody so we're gonna jump straight into a battle we jumped over to Amity It was only 10 days away it's a clan Barak controlled world um, but it's a it's a an ice ball world which is great uh, it's really gonna help us with our heating um, in that regard but it, in a, a negative regard it's also gonna be uh, a pain in the ass because it's gonna be harder to overheat enemies but we'll see what we can do uh, I'm gonna do the garrison duty mission here uh, really great salvage it's one and a half skulls uh, defend base uh, it's against the local government. We're going to just take this one real quick. I want the salvage. I want to see if we can pick up that urban mech part. Um, and I think we should do well at one and a half skulls here. So let's accept this. And we're going to go with the standard uh, loadout here. Now the Locust, um, I picked up the uh, Ferro Fibrous, but I've forgotten that I had put the Heavy heavy Ferro on this guy. So I was able to get Endo Steel in here, which is great. Um, and then I was able to add a flamer to him so because he's got max armor already So I just figured we might as well put a flamer on him uh, It it's gonna play havoc with his heat a little bit But he'll be able to help out the gender a little bit uh, to overheat enemies So that's about the only thing I did uh, change wise on these mechs. So let's go Yeah, I know All right, here we go um Multiple hostile contacts approaching from this direction. It's going to get exciting. Yeah, you bet it will. We got defenders, so we're good. Alright. Uh, yeah, I know. Help the convoy. Do all the things. Okay, we got an adder. What else do we have on our side? A griffin. Uh, okay, three quarter strength. That's not bad. Thorn. Have no, I don't. We have no idea what our turrets are. Another thorn. Should have one more guy here, and a prowler. Now is that part of the? No, it's not. Okay. All right. Um. Interesting. I'm gonna reserve. We're gonna do some reserving here at the beginning. Oh, they got a dart moving up. Okay. Full strength. I'm not really worried about them getting a kill first turn. Going to reserve. I want to see what we're up against. I also don't want to um, remove our uh, evasion tokens here at the beginning, or our chevrons, that is. I really hate the, the use of the word tokens, because they're not really tokens, they're chevrons, right? There we go. Let's get them turrets up and running. Let's find out what we got, too. Yeah, and that guy's gonna die. He's gonna die real quick. So what do we got here turret wise? Quick cell defense turret. Actually should just right click on him. Paramedium lasers on that side. AC ten BB five X. That's the lighter version. Standard laser, large and paramediums and four machine guns. That's a, in a pretty good position to defend that side. Now where's the last turret? Here it is here. Standard Shredder AC-20. Let's not get in the way of that guy. He's in a good position too. Like, this guy's in range, so he could die real quick. But we're going to be looking for, like I said, we're going to be looking for Urban Mechs, so... Do a little bit of, uh... Select Dismemberment, I think we'll try. That's most likely a chopper we're waiting for now. So we gotta have they got we got seven buildings, we gotta have three survive. Okay. Yeah, you run away. You're not needed in the battle at all anyway. <clears throat> now question, if they get reinforcements, I don't remember this map at all. Okay, it doesn't look like they'll come from back here. So everything is probably coming from this side. Oh, they come from over here, that's right. I remember this map now. Usually I have it. I have this turned this way. That's why. Right, and the enemies come from back here. Okay. Well, we can't get a direct line of sight on that guy by walking, huh? Oh, we can over here. Okay, let's start this off. We haven't seen the rest of their guys yet, so I don't know. Gonna leave these off for now. Uh, are we in range for dead fire? Oh, we are. 
Worst chance to hit though. We're just going to use standard on this guy. Well, the medium's hit. It's a start. Hopefully our support vehicles here can uh, help uh, take him out. We don't want to stay behind this guy for sure. I'm like totally afraid now. I've got two mechs that require to be relatively closer. The uh, Locust and Jenner, obviously. But I don't want to move them up because if this guy's going to be targeting... I, I, last thing I want is to get hit by an AC-20. That's a kill. That's a kill shot on pretty much both those mechs. Alright, it's still pretty quiet. Okay, Griffin. He's probably the SRM version. <clears throat> I think there's... I thought there was a version of the Griffin where there was an LRM-5, but I guess he's got a pair of yeah, ERPPC and a pair of six Valiants. That's kind of a nice all-around um, mech to have. They've got the long range with the PPCs and then the devastating close range with the Valiants. Um, we stay... Yeah, let's just stay on this side of that guy. Stay on this side of this guy, please. Alright, let's go with Artemis SRM ammo. Try and do some severe damage to this guy and we'll just fire. Okay, not bad. Not bad. This guy's what? What's the weight on this guy? 20? He's pretty shredded, though. Yeah, he's pretty shredded. Not getting away the turret back there. Let's get up over here. I know we're grouping up, but I'm not that worried right now. It's only turn one. I don't know what else they've got back there though. Roger that. Firing on target. Oh, nice try. Nice try. And where's GV? Oh, he's back here. I mean, I guess I could try and move in and flank him, but be over here? Standing by. That's probably more than far enough away. There we go. Alright, one hit. I'm more, I just want the damage. I don't care about the heating them up. Yeah, I think it was an arm hit. It's fine. That's fine. I want to know what's back here, though. I think the last time we played on this map, they had guys back here that we didn't see for quite some time. They were just kind of right back here. They didn't really appear until these other reinforcements showed up. So we should be aware of that. Wow, that vehicle's got a lot of firepower. Oh, that's a coup, right? Large air pulse ultra twenty. Oh, ultra ten. I thought I, I thought it was a twenty. Streak fours. You are small. That's pretty damn good. What's the weight of this vehicle? It's like must be fifty tons or more. It's a 50, yeah. It's that full armor, too. That's damn scary, man. Okay, we got our turrets to go still. What turn are we on? Phase 9. So, I don't know. Who's going on 9? 8, 5, 7, and 6. Got that AC-20 coming. There it is. Stay the hell out of its way. Alright, phase 20. Round 2. One round down. We got this guy here. Is it the adder? 
Yeah, the adder. Just gonna stay there, huh? No point in shooting? Yeah, you probably right. Phase 19. Looks like it's the enemy because it can't be us. Unless it's the griffin. No, 17. 17 and 16 on this side. The thorn back here? That's the one over here. Okay. Okay. I wonder if those guys are dilly-dallying waiting for their reinforcements. Phase 17. So we got our griffin to go. And the prowler. Just don't shoot from there, man. Oh, this guy. Just gonna stand there, eh? That's a shit job. <laughs> I recon. I stand here while an AC-20 shoots at me. That should be an AI decision where it's like... for Oh, there's a locust. And he's fleeing. That should be an AI decision where they say, okay, you know, I'm I'm forward, I'm in the middle of, midst of the enemy, and Owens, and he's running. A risk Owens, okay. Um, I'm in the midst of the enemy, I'm taking fire. Uh, God, that looks like a bad place to be. Midst of the enemy, taking fire, and I'm unstable. I should run the hell away rather than I need to be stable again it should be no I should get the hell out of here but whatever move up to here see what our pot shot in the Owens or whatever will give us there's the dart we're gonna use the mediums on this guy most likely 32 is not, not bad on that guy so let's do a multi-target we're gonna take the shot on this guy most likely it's not gonna be a kill obviously but we're gonna go this route and fire Oh, all right, there's the hit. And some missile hits, nice, soften them up a bit. Yes. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. You're gonna panic even more when he gets hit with a bunch of flamers. Oh, never mind, he might just die. Okay, look at this. They must have had two lances at the start here. We'll found Hunter Light Support Tank. What else do we got here? Trebuchet, he's making a break for it. They all heard that uh, AC-20 go off and they're like, nope, nope, fuck that, we're leaving. Treb on Treb battle, maybe? I can afford to move down here now because uh, nothing's in range of the AC-20. Really, this is the barrage. Oh, wait, we can switch these around. Um, do I want to use the Hydra on these guys or do we want to wait for the last turns? Let's wait for the last turns and we'll go after the, uh... Take this, dirt bag. Okay, that looks like it was a good hit. Uh, we'll go after the, um, reinforcements when they arrive with the Hydra. We've only got six turns of firing, that's why I'm delaying on it. Oh, and another vehicle here. Saracen. There's got to be somebody else, too. It's nice that they had two lances, but... You just don't cut the juice, man. We'll see how that plays out once their reinforcements arrive. Alright, we need to get up there, buddy. Treb's out of range, huh? Let's not go in the fire. No, no, we want to shoot this guy, man. No oh, yeah, baby. 11%? You got that going on. Okay, GV. Um... Okay. 
I think we want to push these guys out of here. Firing. Okay. He's super hot, that guy. Wolfhound's making a break for it. Okay, we got them routed. Except for that guy. Who's pissed. He's pissed off. Look at him. He's thinking. He's thinking, who am I going to shoot at? Yep. Yeah. Guy's pissed. Stop. You're just embarrassing yourself. He's not. Now the bad part about this too is that if we chase these guys, we're going to be out of range of our defenders. I mean, if you think about it, it was kind of a good tactic. Harass the base. Hopefully we chase them. Two turns later, reinforcements arrive and they all attack. I gotta be careful how far out we push. Gotta get, be able to get back to the base. So let's see if we can clear up this Saracen. He's still outside optimal range, but he's not here though. Uh, could have could have been an understrength second unit back here, so seven guys. It's been damaged on the front, but we'll take this shot. Nicely done. Turret shots. Okay. Oh yeah. Nice shooting, man. Oh, Locust has decided to come back and fight. Which version is he, though? Medium and two machine guns. I live to serve. Rolling. See if we can get this guy. Got it, Commander. Ooh, a lot of damage. Not enough for a kill, though. Yeah, you run through that uh, heat and then face the other direction. Sounds good. Sounds good. Oh, we almost got him. Okay, I'm going to switch targets. That guy's definitely going to die before the end of next turn. After the treb, nice. Okay, phase three. They should get reinforcements this turn, I thought. Phase eighteen. Oh no, it's is it next turn? Turn seven? I thought it was turn eight. That no, I guess it is. Wait, this is the third round. I thought it was supposed to come in on the third round. Maybe it's the beginning of the fourth? I don't know. I don't know. Well, we'll find out soon enough. Our fares on an arc light still need to go here. I think we're going to try and take down the Treb. I don't know what version this is. It's the 3C. Is that the long range version? Probably not, because he wasn't firing before, so it's probably the short range version. You'd think I'd know that, but I don't. I finish him up. Ugh. I don't want to have to shoot at him. Somebody finish him off on me for Christ's sake. All right, a few hits. We both go on 15. Who else do they have left? Griffin's already gone. Prowler. That was the coup. Did this guy go? Oh, here we go. Come on, kill the vehicle. 
There you go. Beautiful. Now we got this prowler left too. Yeah, we'll both push and we'll go after the back of the trap and see if we can take it down. I don't think we can. Well, I don't know. It's taking a fair amount of damage and most of it's back damage, so we'll see what happens. It'd nice to be nice to have that guy gone. Uh, or, or we shoot at somebody else. That works too. Yeah. Or we shoot at somebody else. Let's get... That's a pretty solid Owens back shot. And we're switching this up to Hydra. That's all we got, huh? Let's do a multi then. Fire the mediums at B. Here we go. Eh. Let them know we see them. That's fine. You hit the other guy. That's all that matters. Now, we're not in a good position to... Oh, we are, actually. That Owens must be up on our rise. Just on... A, yeah, we could just shoot through the trees here. Just barely see him. Should we throw the tag? No, let's not throw the tag on. I want to use it on the guys that just show up. So, let's just... Uh, yeah. Ooh, the large hit. Enemy mech. Nice. This guy's being punished. I think one more, uh... One more Hydra Strike on his back, and that should do it, I think. And then it's just these... The, what do we got here? 50%. Of the support lands. I don't know if the Vanguard only has three guys in it. Or two? Wait. Oh no, the dart. This guy and the Treb have died. Okay, so it's four left. Unless there's somebody else hidden back there, but I doubt it. Well, they're coming back to fight. Who are they shooting after, though? Shoot the vehicle. Shoot the vehicle. Shoot the vehicle. Shoot the vehicle. You know you want to. Shoot the vehicle. He's got no evasion. Shoot the vehicle. Uh-huh. Costing me money. Heads up, Commander. You've got hostile contacts inbound. Oh, right in my face. Yeah, and they all go before me too, the assholes. Pike support vehicle. Wolfhound. Panther. You guys need to back the fuck up because I got a uh <laughs> I got a uh tag barrage still left that these guys are gonna enjoy. So you need we need to back up. Fire them back up and then we'll we'll barrage them. I go on twelve. We got that one ready to go. This one I think has got a couple one more turn to wait. We're going to give him a big fuck you welcome. There should be another lance over here too somewhere. Alright, they got eight guys on this side now. I couldn't remember where the dropship landed. I forgot that it was over here. Sorry, it just makes it interesting. Round 22, huh? This guy went on 27. This guy's what, 12? Oh, what's this? There's, there's our Irby. Where was it? What's this guy? Chameleon. What version is this? It's not the Risk version, is it? No, R71. Okay. I don't know what the R71 has. Is it? It might be the rocket launcher version. We want to try and get the missile Irby, I think. Because he's so slow, we could just pack him with Lerms or some rocket packs and stuff. Uh, 
Okay, what else do we have over here? Hunchback. Commando. All right. 1G. What's the 1G? Looks like it might be missiles too because this shoulder looks like it's heavy. Well, we'll find out in a minute. What are we at? Phase 20? Who's going on 20? Who's going on 20? Probably one of those guys. Allied turn, but I don't see who's got 20. Somebody who's apparently not doing anything. Oh, it's this guy. I think he's just shocked at how many guys dropped in. It's like, what? Uh, should we, are we going to keep fighting? What are we doing? Of course we're keeping fighting. What are you talking about? Still phase 20. Hunchback. Not doing anything, looks like. His name tag flashed for a second there. Come on, guys. Decide what you're doing. Move into the frag. Ass killed. Oh, one's still making a break for it. Is he on sensors? He is. Oh, we might get a kill out of him. Alright, fire maneuver, please. Uh, who do we want to go after? Three ballistic on the pike. That could be very dangerous. One missile on the hunter. Let's go after the pike. Better chances to hit. Firing. Okay, good damage. Uh, I'm going to move over here into the trees. But maybe not like that. Maybe more like this. We got a barrage coming, so we got to get the hell out of there. Got to get the hell out. With any luck, we might be able to kill this pike. I don't know what he's got on him. I mean, the three ballistic technically could be machine guns. But since you see the three big guns sticking out the front, they could be AC-5s. Or twos, who knows. But I want him gone. He looks very threatening. The wolf found all we gotta do is heat up. We don't have to worry about that guy. Now I'll have to see what our percentage chance to hit is with our, our Ferrazon. Um... If whether we target a, a unit or if we just uh Oof. We gotta fire a maneuver, so let's go after this guy. Commencing alpha strike. Back your ass up. No sweat. Yo, witness, back your ass up. I gotta see what my, what my percentage chance to hit with the barrage on the vehicle is to see if I fire everything or if I just uh, target the ground in the center here, which I might end up doing. We'll see, but then I, I don't get to fire the rest of my weapons, which is kind of sad, but we'll see. As long as, our, as long as my guys are out of the way, if I miss, no big deal, unless I shoot my feet, which has been known to happen. It's happened more than once. Need you to shoot this guy, please. Uh, let's switch this up, because, you know. Let's go with this. And see if we can kill him. Firing. No, nope. Good damage, though. Okay, get your ass back here. Talos is moving in in a second. Alright, nice hit. So that was the panther. Beautiful. Give it to him, buddy. Give it to him. I got some more for him, too. Pike's taking a lot of front damage. Okay, so he's got AC2. Triple AC2. So it's not so bad. And my 
Family's arguing downstairs. Apologize. Uh, I'm on holidays this week and I got getting calls from work so with the uh, COVID-19 going around they're uh, one of the restaurant chains that we do work for is actually shutting down their their retail stores and they're going to uh, delivery and uh, pick up only so um, we got to yank some of their spots off the air and do a revision on an emergency this week so one of the uh, the art director at work is going to do it. He's just going to be calling shortly to figure that out. It's kind of frustrating. I can't even get like a uh, can't even get a relaxing holiday without being stressed about work. Had a massive panic attack in the middle of last night. Woke me up. It's kind of crappy, but whatever. Which is why these guys are about to take a tag barrage, all of them. <laughs> the weird thing is, is I'm not even upset about it. Because it's like, it's one of those rare situations where it's like, you know, you 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 can't predict when this kind of stuff is going to happen. And it just happens, right? So it's like, not it's not anybody's fault. It's just the way it is, right? So, okay. Let's give it to them. How badly does this guy want it? Looks like he wants it pretty bad at 93.3%. I wonder if we multi-target this. Let's target the pike. And maybe the panther. Now what's the panther's chance to hit? 85, because he's a little farther back. If we hit him, we better chance to hit the rest of these guys. So we're going to go this route. Which is the dead fire. Hopefully take out that pike. Engaging multiple targets. Nice. And then shoot the panther. Beautiful. We didn't get the well we got the we, we did get this guy. He moved, so looks like we got all of them with that blast, so that's nice. They should be nice and toasty now. Yeah, a little bit of heat. And I'm messing the map again, I sorry. I sorry guys. Adder. Okay, we're on the next phase now. Phase 24, phase 21. I'm still screwing the map up. I promise I didn't touch anything this time, guys. See that? I don't even have to touch anything. I can screw the map up. Look at, look at, I didn't do anything. Well, at least it's going to give me a good screen grab. <laughs> there's your opening shot, guys. <laughs> oh, there's the thumbnail. Ooh, nice shooting. I promise when it's my turn, I'll fix it. There you go. I don't know what I did, but there we are. All right, we need to get that urban mech, but these guys are in a position to get, get killed, so. Let's take advantage of this. Take advantage of this a little bit. I don't want to get too close to them. We're out of range with the flamers, eh? Oh, shit. Oh, no, we're not. Oh, I, this guy was indirect, that's why. Alright, let's overheat this guy. Okay, plus four heat, that's not that great. Torn. What are you doing, Torn? Looks like he's got an LRM-5. Oh, nice shot. Take it to him, buddy. Take it to him. That locust has decided. Nope. Nope. Even with reinforcements, we're getting out of here. These guys haven't done anything yet. I don't think they'd have enough turns to even pull down enough buildings. Although we are pretty far away from the base now. So if the AI decided to push the base, they could theoretically take down four buildings. I hear ya. Let's not get too close. Affirmative. 
Okay, who do we want here? That's the Panther. That's actually not that bad. Maybe we go with the Panther. He's taking more damage. Let's go after the Panther. All weapons are go. Nice, two hits. Guy's reliable. Guy is reliable. Okay, not bad. Looks like we penetrated on that, uh, on this guy. Now we're going to have Hydra coming in here in the next turn. Because Hydra. But I think I want to switch or shift the Talos over to engage this uh, Urban Mech because I want to see, make sure we at least kill him before the end of the battle. Well, we got one more turn. Wait, uh, we'll go to, we'll, we'll switch on turn six. That'll give us five more turns. We'll engage these guys here and really hammer them. I think with the Hydra ammo, uh, we're going to go after the Wolfhound with the Hydra. We should be able to kill him. If our second MML is back, I'll split fire between him and the Panther with Hydra. And we may get lucky on both of them. But these guys are in a kill box right now. Yeah, Hunchbacks, these like decided it's not a good idea to stay around. Here <laughs> comes the sleep near. Shoot him in the back. No, yeah, you you move over to engage those guys, but then shoot the guys on this side. Whatever works, man. Whatever you need to do, you do it. Okay, I think our barrage is back, actually, with the trebuchet, too. Uh, well, it doesn't look like it. Standing by. We got one more turn. Okay, well... I think we're too close here. We've only got one risk with Hydra. Um, let's move to here though. It won't give us the best chance to hit, but we'll do it. Uh, let's switch this up to Hydra. And I think we just put everything on this guy. Here it comes. Nope. Well, at least it's making it so that he can't shoot at anybody. Yeah, you guys run. You guys run. Too bad we can't see that Owens. I'm so sorry, buddy, that you're taking so much damage. they just loving you today. Gonna push a bit here. Um, come on, let's do it. I'm not gonna spread it out too much. We're gonna put, uh, the rockets on B and everything else to A. Engaging multiple targets. Oh, I thought we would definitely get the kill on that guy. Long range missiles depleted. Damn. Wow. That guy's rethinking his life. This guy's definitely rethinking his life. I yeah, might be able to sweep the legs on this guy. If he doesn't die. How do we do here? We didn't do so great though. I think we must have got a lot of arm and leg hits though. I mean, we got a little bit of back damage, but not much. His ballistic is damaged. Yeah, they're running. Except for that guy. Who's got he's got balls of steel. That guy in the Irby. 
Okay, he's in a chemical fire. He's still really hot. Nice. Normally I don't like chasing, but in this case they're all damaged, so we're going to go after them and run them down. Yep, thanks for showing up. If we can find that to Owens back there, we're going to target him. Ow. Wow. Dude. There goes your heavy rifle. See what I mean, though? They shot from this side, and they blew off the arm on the opposite side, so I don't know why that is. It's almost like they got the direct, their direction dyslexic, just like I am. It's bizarre having to explain to somebody how I have to actively think about left and right. <laughs> so remember one of my girlfriends, oh, just make a left turn up here. Sure, I turn right. Like, where are you going? You told me to make a left turn. <laughs> yeah, but you turned right. I did? Oh, let me turn around. <laughs> oh, you mean my other left? Yeah, I'll go that way. Yeah, oh, God, that was hilarious. It's bad because, you know, when you're chatting, like, uh, I'm terrible for that. If I'm talking to somebody and I'm driving, my mind goes on autopilot and my, I just drive the car right in the background but if I get distracted then I don't have any way to determine what's ways left and which way is right so I just automatically turn <laughs> the opposite the way that people ask me to go it's terrible well, where are you going oh I'm, your I'm going this way why uh, What do you think, GV? I think we can warm this guy up a little bit. I think he can. Firing all weapons. 25, huh? Not that much, but we'll take it. We'll take it. I don't know, you know, I maybe I'll switch back to, like, maybe I'll put a bigger LRM in the center of this guy. I guess I can't really, I can't really because of the weight, but I don't know. I was just thinking maybe, or maybe like an SRM-6 with Inferno in the center torso and a pair of medium lasers or something. These flamers, they work sometimes, but other times it's like not so much. Oh, I keep forgetting too that we're on a cold planet, so we're not going to be doing as much heat damage. I keep forgetting that. But you know what though, if you look at the, the actual heat damage we are doing, it's still actually pretty good for being on a frozen planet. Here comes the locust again. This guy's got balls, man. He's like the, one of the bravest guys in the bunch. Except for that first guy who got, got himself killed. <clears throat> what are we at? Round 17? Who's going on 17? Not me. So we're going to get witness up there with GV target that other uh, the other wolf found here this wolf found most likely I might leave to them let's get up here oh we got the Owens on target now he's got tag tag four arrow or tag arrow four I mean and a medium X pulse a pair of MML fives swarm incendiaries that might be a good, uh, we got to get that kill on that guy. Oh, you miss with the uh, X-Pulse. How often does that happen at a high percentage for you, dude? I guess you need a really tough shot. He's like, if the shot ain't tough, what's the point? All right, we got the Owens on, so here he comes. We got to claim him too. Because I think that MML5 would work perfectly on the uh, on the Jenner and the CT. Although I don't know how many slots it occupies. That's a good question. 
it's probably light. The MML 10s are only three tons. So it's probably a ton and a half, which is the right weight. God, that thing is doing... Can we hire that guy? The coup, man. I'm going to hire him. Oh, was that the sleep near that fired? That was the sleep near that fired. Well, I'll hire that guy, too. What the hell? Wow, look at this guy. That's an interesting layout. It's a flamer, Irby. I want those double plus flamers, though. Imagine putting all four of those onto the, uh, the, uh, Jenner. That MML would be a, MML5 would be a direct upgrade because the LRM5 is two tons. MML5, I think, is a ton and a half, which means we'd be able to put that in and then put a half ton of SRM ammo or something in with it to give it a bit more of a kick at close range. Like, I don't know if we've got... I don't think we have a half ton of incendiary ammo, but... I'll have to take a look. Okay, I'm going to move to here. We'll decide who we're going to shoot at. Well, that's not bad. A little better with standard ammo. Hunchback. We won't be able to get a kill on him. Chameleon's a good shot. Owens is a good, just as good as the... Uh, but he's taking mostly back damage, I think. Let's start the Irby. We have to kill him, so... And then we'll sick uh, Arclight on the Owens. Hopefully our other MML is back up and running. What if the Hydro ammo will do well against the uh, the Owens. Maybe we can take them down with that. Aye, aye. Acknowledge. Okay, our barrage is back. Could have gone after all of these guys, but... Let's hold off on the barrage. Um, we do a multi-target. We're going to fire at you and you. Medium lasers to B and the hydrant A. Copy that. Okay, a couple hits. That's nice. That's a good start on the Irby. Now, structure is exposed. Most likely it's the arm, but we'll see. Now, if we can get the one up on the Owens next turn. Like, I wonder if I... My thought is to push both of these guys straight through the enemy to kill this guy and then have the trebuchet turn and use the um, barrage on this grouping down here, if they're still there. We're on phase 13 right now. So we've got a few vehicles. I think left. Do we not? No, we don't. Looks like we've gone. Enemy's moving right now, but I don't think we've got anybody left back here. No, I think we're done for movement. I don't even need to look at the base. So most likely this urban mech still got to go. Maybe this commander. Oh, I think the, did the commander go already? No, I don't think he did. Yeah, see, this guy's got some cojones. Good shooting, man.
Yeah, we could do that. I mean, we could push through and go after these guys as long as... <sighs> no, I think that's a mistake. Okay, next turn. GB's up first. Okay, Kit Fox, 23. Well, I meant GB's up first for us. Out of my unit. Hopefully a bunch of them go first. Nice, 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 nice. That guy went down. Okay, we may not need the barrage on that side then. I think we maybe we push in... Um, well, we could chase this wolfhound down and try and kill it from behind. I don't think we got the firepower though for that. The flamers and the uh, X-Pulse, I don't think I've got enough strength to take him down. Well, four turns, maybe? Maybe? Oh, nice shot. Panther's still running. He's pretty much fodder, that guy. He's got, like, no armor left. Here's our adder. Ooh. That's what you get for being a tough guy, buddy. I'm in a commando. I can move forward. You can move forward and take a face for a Lerm 30 is what you can do. Uh, that's the Owens. Is he going to turn a run now, though? Just stand there, please. Yep. Make it easy for me. Thanks, buddy. Okay, Chameleon. Still making a run for it. Alright, let's clean this guy up. Acknowledge. It'd be nice to have Wolfhound parts in the uh, potential salvage. Alright, let's burn him up. Alright, good hits. 30, 30 heat, not bad. We got Witness coming up for another backstrike in a second, so... Okay, arc light. Both of our hydras are down now. Fuck me. Well, we got the barrage though. Can we get? Come on, you can do it. No, we can't. Not from there, anyway. There we go. That's what I want. Here it comes. Engaging multiple enemies. Nice. I'm glad that hit. I was so worried it was going to miss. I think that was probably the best use of the, the, the uh, barrage for that. These guys have all sp split apart down here. That would have been no good. And I don't think we would have got a kill. We might have got the Wolfhound maybe, but I really want the Owens more than the Wolfhound, so... I think that was a better way to do it. Alright, Witness. You? you know what you can do for me. What have you done for me lately? Maybe kill the wolf out here. Okay, how good of a chance we got here? I don't think he's got an XL, but let's give it a shot and go after this torso. And see if we got lucky. We got a hit with that, but that was not... That must have been a leg hit, probably, or an arm hit. Leg hit, looks like. Oh well. We had to take the chance. Alright, uh, we need an o Owens and... Maybe just an Owens. Go for the kill on him. Let's go for the kill on him. Okay, we lost some stuff off them, but we will get other stuff, and we're going to push this side now. So we got our two heavy boys on the left here to engage their two mediums if they decide to turn and fight. And this side is we're just playing cleanup.
really the locust is the only thing that's got any kind of power it's really taken almost no damage but the rest of these guys have taken they're all breached at some point so they could go down relatively quickly although if they all decided to turn and push GV and uh, and witness they could be in trouble but I think overall we're alright so we're on round 15 now so who we have left here on our side we've got this prowler left we've got the coup which is deadly this guy did just stat there eh? if the coup decides to turn that guy's dead that's the prowler most likely now we're on phase 15 now oh yeah that's right prowlers on 15 sorry and this sleep near has been pretty deadly too so let's see what he does on 15 it's most likely going to be targeting this guy but the dagger didn't move so or I keep calling this the locust a dagger you know what I'm talking about when I say dagger if you guys have watched my earlier series the dagger used to be basically the locust skin just a little bigger and I was calling the locust the dagger all the time although strangely enough I think dagger is a better name for it than the locust I know locusts are small and quick and nimble and stuff but You'd almost expect a locust to be something that could fly, or at least hop around. But a dagger is just like a net, a knife in your back, right? So it's kind of that's why I like the idea of making that a dagger. Why are you shooting at that guy? Why? You've got this guy right here to finish off. You could you, not even go. Oh. Okay. I shouldn't complain because I mean we're getting free damage for us I shouldn't I shouldn't complain if it was just us and turrets we'd be dead we would totally be dead what they should do though for missions like this is it should be four turrets and then four random urban mechs at low level well that's a nice shot right just four random urban mechs because you think that, that you're just mobile turrets right then it would make a little make it a little more fair I think because the urban mechs really couldn't move very far away from the base but this way we've got like two lances it's two versus four or plus the actual like three versus four we're almost at equal numbers because we had all the vehicles that were uh, engineering vehicles right so that wolf found doing just sitting there looks like we're on phase 10 now anybody left the turrets oh the urban mech too he's still pushing dude you got cojones right, we're taking you out next turn Owens is gone so it's just free run on you now buddy I'm terrified to to leg him and then let the enemy destroy him. I'm I think I want to burn through his side, kill him. You got nothing. You hear me? Yeah, you tell him witness. Well, he's gone. That was the that was the large laser turret, I think. <laughs> he's improved unsettled. <laughs> really? <laughs> He was panicking, but now that he's dead, he's only unsettled. It's like, oh, God. It feels such a relief. A relief that it's over. All right, come on. What are we at? Round 21, or phase 21, sorry. What have we got? We got go we're going on 20, eh? Oh, it's the Griffin. Dude, that guy doesn't miss. I think he's only missed once. You know what to do. I don't want to stay around there and just stand there because if that guy decides to turn and fight or the other guy starts to decide to shoot at me, they got much way better chance to hit. Plus, we can always run that guy's ass down anyway. Even if he decides to try and run away, we can just chase him down. It's not like he's got better speed than us. Alright, now we do have a red. We'll wait till it's uh, 
witness his turn. We do have a red mark on the guy's back, so to find out where that is. I need you to burn through the side of this guy over here, please. Do you mind? Copy that. Thanks. Much appreciated. Switch to SRM Artemis ammo. Burn through him, please. All right, there goes the torso. I know we're losing the flamers, but we got to get him down. All right, there the risks on jam. Beautiful. So we got two rounds after this one where we can use Inferno on these guys. Or even on these vehicles. Something, we'll just, we'll just get kills, I guess, after this. I don't know. Does it really, I don't know. Just trying to decide if it really matters if we get kills or not. It's just going to pollute the loot table, I think. Unless it's something important. We may just, once the urban mech goes down and we kill the wolfhound, we may just leave it at that unless they decide to come back and fight. Ooh. Sorry to see you go that way, but uh, that coup is deadly. I think that was the coup, wasn't it? 18, yeah. You oh dude man. Guy was brave. I'll give him I'll give him two thumbs up for bravery. But that coup ate his ass for breakfast. Holy shit. Like I think we probably could have even if we didn't have the extra lance here, with just these vehicles, I think we probably could have held them just as well. Cause I mean other than the Griffin do hitting with the PPC a fair bit. We, these guys really haven't done a lot. I mean, the, the LRMs have done a little bit of work, but not a ton of work. And even if we had, even if they did push us and we just had the vehicles at us and we pulled back to the base, the turrets, the AC-20 turret up here in the front could have done a lot of damage. So we could have held it without them. You know what to do. Oh, shoot, that's really low. That's really low. Let's just attack him. That's better. Beautiful shot. Leg hit though. We'll take it. All right, now Yeah, let's just core him. Oh, he's still going, damn it. Enemy mech. Critical damage detected. Well, feeding frenzy is going to happen in a second. God, this was a slaughter. So I'm wondering if we can do a two and a half skull defend mission. If we used our guys to focus one mech at a time and went after the strays that might have been going after the base, I think our defenders would ha have no problem holding the base. It'd be interesting to see if you just did nothing, just stood there, just to see if the defenders could actually hold off the attackers. Oh man, you're still alive. Nope. He's leaving. Head destroyed. Panic level critical. I don't like violence anyway. It's probably why you didn't shoot this whole battle. His dad made him come. We need an extra body down there. Don't worry. It's gonna, it's gonna be a cakewalk. Uh huh. You can eat your cake in heaven now. I don't know. Would mech warriors go to heaven? I mean, you are murdering people. The whole thou shalt not kill thing, right? Of course, unless it's sanctioned by God, then you can kill all you want. Hmm. What, what phase are we on? 12. So what do we got left? This guy's still pushing. He's like, fuck this, I ain't going anywhere. Well, not like he can run away anyway, but... Dude's got 
test I want this guy on my team I wish you could capture enemy pilots if we force this guy to surrender you could join our side this guy you, you could pilot urban mech for me any day buddy what phase 8 so we got the laser turret here most likely going to shoot at him wouldn't be surprised if it gets the kill no oh he's got the full side on okay He's got the full armored side facing towards the turret. All right, next turn. These guys are chasing them off the battlefield here. That's a lot of hits. All right, not bad. Sure, split it up, why not? Making the same mistake mistake that I do. Oh, wait, that, Commando P, is that the one with the Vibro Shiv? I can't... Uh, the, isn't it the Commando P, the pirate version that's got the Vibro Shiv on his arm? See ya. I think it is. I think it's the pirate commando with the Vibro Shiv. Probably why he was moving forward and bracing, because he wanted to get in range to attack, but then with no support, he's like... What, what what am I going to do? Run up, punch somebody, and then die? Although, you can do significant damage to... Well, I don't know. I've yet to receive a Vibroshiv attack in this uh, version. Yeah, I get those hills. I think there's some infantry in there. Yeah, I don't think I've taken a Vibroshiv attack yet. But I remember the earlier versions, it was just horrifying. Especially when you're like lighter mechs like this. Alright, GB. Let's move up. Yeah, baby. Guys, stressing a little bit. All right, well, there's our urban mech parts. Wonder how much of it's left, though. <laughs> I think he took the other torso out. Ah, it's a junker. Whatever. We're gonna look for those flamers, though, in the uh, in the loot list. All right, can what is your attack on this guy? That's pretty good. Let's. Well, let's try and finish him. Right arm, huh? Yeah, oh, he's panicking. Just back up. Out. Just in case they decide to fire some missiles over here. So they don't have much left. Two vehicles on the one side. And then the... Uh, well, they got three mechs over here still. We should be able to kill this commando this turn. As much as I want to try and go after this hunchback, I think the hunchback's got full armor. So taking it down is good. Unless we can get behind it, because it's got weak back armor, it's just a waste of time shooting at it. We can't take it down in this turn and the next turn. We've only got this turn and next turn left anyway, so... All right, you know what to do. Roger. There it is, folks. OP ammo used. Yeah, it's a good thing I moved away from there. Okay, they got the other arm now. He was panicking before. He's unsteady now. I wonder if I turn and use my Lerm 15 on him, if that'll make a difference. If that'll make him knock down or get bailed out or something. Okay. Two more hits. Panicking. I'm going to do that. Um. Full 
Let's get crazy. Crazy because we can. Here it comes. Engaging multiple targets. Yeah, there's a kill for us. There's a kill for us. Enemy unit destroyed. Yeah, baby. We're down to two now. Uh, witness, you're so out of position now. You know what? Let's have a seat, buddy. You and GV can just have a sit, sit down. You, good work, guys. I mean, they're not really getting the kills, but they're doing their jobs, right? GV's hitting with that X, or uh, Witness is hitting with the X pulse all the time, and GV's keeping those mechs overheated. Doing a good job. Yeah, we got one turn. This guy's just backing up too. Zero damage to the buildings. So I would recommend if you're gonna do, if you're playing, like we're we're a we're a half skull lance. You could probably, and we're playing at warlord level, so it's like three levels or four levels above the normal uh, four strength. So I think you could probably successfully go up to two and a half skulls. And depending on what you got as your defenders, like if you're fighting for a clan against non-clans, you should have no problem at all. Like, I don't even think we needed to do too much in this battle. If they came in, those turrets would be doing good damage. Those vehicles would be doing really good damage. We could just pick up the stragglers and the strays and the weak mechs, take them out. We should have, we could have had no problem with this. So we might attempt to do that. We'll, we'll have to see. But like I said, we're, I mean, the fact that the gear now is so, like, especially having to match the ammo exactly to the weapon. Like, we've got an Ultra 20 sitting there that we can't use. Oh, which, by the way, when we moved to this planet, I did find one ton of Ultra 20 ammo, so I picked that up. So we, hopefully in the future we'll be able to get the Ultra 20 rocking. But, um, like I said, you got to match the ammo, so it's like, it's not an easy thing to do. It's like, there's like lots of weapons and stuff that you'd want to employ, but you just can't because you don't have the ammo for it. Let's go after the Hunchback. He's got his other side damage though, but it's really all we can do. Okay, good hits. Have a seat, buddy. Done a great job. Racing for impact. Done a great job today. Sure, spread the damage around. Why not? I'm here. Okay, I want a side attack. I was hoping to get more of a front attack on this guy, but we'll go this way. All right. Full speed. And look back to Hydra. Let's see if we can get lucky on this guy. Oh, he's got the heavy heavy rifle, really, eh? Heavy and medium. I'm taking this shot. God, just OP ammo. Tango down. Well, we only didn't get one guy out of this whole battle. But I, I'm not going to say that until they all the vehicles have, and uh, stuff have gone. See if they get lucky on them. It's unlikely, but you never know. They're they're not they're not rocking the uh, the Hydra cheat ammo. There it is, folks. Yep, excellent. All right, contract payment increased by fifty percent. That's great. More than cover our damages. Puts us on a great trajectory. Oh, they're going to dispute it too, eh? Oh, you can add the trap, that's fine. You can add tag, weapons, computers, and SRM dead fire ammo. Yeah, we'll take that, that's fine. We're okay with that. Be nice to have trap parts, but it's not what I wanted. Not, it's not what I'm here for. I mean, I could go ahead and just take a wolfhound. Or 
or four parts of a risk Owens. One, two, three, f yeah, four. And then take the urban map part. Ooh. LRM 10 Delta. God, look at all these tag four arrows. Tag arrow fours. Those are kind of nice, but I mean, Artemis system, ballistic, fire control system, flamer. Oh, man. That's actually really nice. This is actually really nice, too. I'm thinking number of slots, right? We could swap out the regular ferrofibrous in the Talos with this and then have more uh, space to be able to put other stuff in because we're maxed on space right now. Recon sensors, Sentinel sensors, three tons. 10% increased lance sight range. Inside C3 aura range, okay. Oh, God. Artemis ammo for LRMs. LRM dead fire. Ah, oh, guys, I don't know. I was here for the Irby, so we have to take the Urban Mac part. So let's go ahead and do that. Where are you? At the top. Go up. Up. You'll know when you're there. Do I take three risk urban parts though? Or uh, Owen's parts, I mean. Omnimech upgraded the Jenner battle mech. How often are we going to see this thing though? That's the question. Most likely we'll see wolfhounds more often. But this guy's laser vomit. Like, that's the thing. It's got no versatility. And without double heat sinks, it's like, what's the point? Or we could just go gear. I mean, we're going to get a mech out of this anyway. We're going to have a full 30-ton mech after this. There's another X pulse. Let's grab that. Let's grab components. Let's just do it. Let's get some direct upgrades here. We don't really have we're not really running any ballistic. Let's grab that. Cuz that'll be an upgrade. Maybe the Sentinel sensors. Um That's heavy though. We don't really have the weight for this. Recon sensors. Uh, what would that go on? I don't think we'd have anything to put that on right now. Well, maybe the urban mech, but it's not going to really be doing any recon anyway. Uh, maybe we... Oh, we don't have an Artemis system for it. Follow the leader. LK missiles. One of these guys. I think. Yeah, you know, it may not be the smartest pick in the world, but I think right now for what, how we're playing and what we're doing, I think this is probably the best way to go. There are immediate upgrades for everything here, so let's confirm it. Okay, dart part, hunchback part, locust, panther, commando part, two Owens parts, three Owens parts. That's actually pretty good. We were going to take three parts and we didn't. Uh, two cores, which we can sell. Primitive, we can sell. 
basic sensor, spiked helmet, eh, LRM save, regular LRM, SRM dead fire ammo. Okay, that's nice. That's kind of really nice. All right, cool. Okay, that's like no damages. Beautiful. All right, let's go to the mech bay. Have a look at that, Irby. Uh, where are you here? Irby mech, here we go. Now, this is the... Not the one we want. Wait, that's the only one we can put together? Still? Oh, for Christ's sake, that's so useless. Really? Because it's the R60 we want. Where is it? I thought we had two parts of the R60. R25, R20. That'll help a little bit. Um, R20. R25. R71. I thought we had an R60 LRM. What am I missing here? Or is it the R25 I'm thinking of? It's the R25 I'm thinking of. That's what it is. Uh, it says compatible. Usually it only has the ones here that you've got in stock, but I don't see the R60 LRM here anywhere. Oh, here it is. So it is compatible with this guy, but we don't have enough parts of this one. All right. Well, we'll just have to wait, I guess. Damn it. Oh, well. We'll work on getting it next time. <laughs> uh, okay, guys. I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.